Right, so now what we are doing is we are adding pre-commit hook to run tests before the commit. That one's fine. So now what we want to do is run a linter before the commit as well. So the way to run a linter is to install ESLint. Now, if we go on to ESLint.org in here, you can see here final fix problems in your JavaScript code. So let's click get started. And you can see here, let's just quickly copy this. All we need to do is run npm init at eslint config. So let's implement that in now and press enter. And we should get a few questions to ask for. So now we have the three questions here, how you would like to use eslint. What I'm going to do is choose the third one because this covers all the bases and it gives you the flexibility if you wanted to do just the syntax only you can do. If you wanted to check syntax and buy problems, you can do. This one essentially covers everything so you can enforce a coding style as well. So let's press enter. And now we want to use JavaScript module because that's what we are using. And we are also using React. So does your project use TypeScript? Yes, it does. So let's press enter and the code does run in the browser. So let's just do that. So essentially this is front end because we are creating a UI components library. Let's actually use a configured template, which is a popular style guide. And then we will just use the standard one, which is from TypeScript. And how do you want to configure it? Let's do it in JSON and press enter. So now let's go ahead and it will say, do you want to install everything? So again, yes, go, let's go ahead and do that. And we can use npm yarn or pmpm. And because we have a package lock files, we will just do npm because that's consistent. And now we will wait for everything mm -hmm. to install. Right, so now everything's installed. If we go into our package JSON file, and if we go up to the dev dependencies, you can see now we have ESLint installed in here with all of these plugins that were imported as well. We also have a ESLintRC.json file. So let's go in there. And now you can see these are the essentially what we've installed. So it extends the standards with TypeScript and it also got the React plugin as well. If you wanted to extend these rules further, then you can do in here. So in here, you could add some suggested rules. So suggested rules, and you have quite a few that you could choose from, or you could go in the docs and add whatever you want as the configurations in here. But essentially what I am want to do is just use the recommended one, which we went through in the setup process. So now all we need to do is add a command to run the linter. So if we go into here and essentially if we go in configurations, you have more rules in here such as semis and quotes and we can also extend as well in here. So now if you go to next steps, you got some further information that you could have, but essentially now we have a linter set up. So now all we want to do is we've got this configured. Now, if you go in our package JSON, we need to add a script. So underneath the scripts we have, is lint so we want to do es lint in here for everything in the same directory so dot which is essentially everything in here and we also want to add a lint fix which is again es lint dot fish uh, dash dash fix in here like that so now let's save this and let me quickly run npm run lint so let me clear everything out and do npm run lint and now it's running ESLint and you can see there's two problems. What are the problems? Let me go up and you can see these are the issues, which is essentially in our disk folder. So actually what we will do is we only want to lint anything in our source folder. So it will be dot slash source like that. And again, this will be dot slash source because the disk folder is, is essentially what we are doing as the final thing it should be linted before that happens. So what we want to do is target the files within here. So this will be anything with the extension of TS or TSX. I don't think there's anything else other than that. So yeah, that's fine. So now let's save that and let me do npm run lint and press enter. So now we're getting these errors in our linter. What we need to do is we could either fix them with npm run lint dash call on fix like so or we could add these rules in here and fix it so let's go ahead and paste in the relevant rules we need so so now we brought in our rules in here all we now need to do is run npm run lint dash fix or call on fix 
and press enter and now we'll fix all of it and then we need to run lint again just to check it's all fixed and now you can see there's no issues being reported so one last thing is react version not specified in es lint plugin react so let's go ahead and do that so if we close this terminal down a bit and create a new object in here and this is settings and essentially we want to be able to detect the version of react that we are using so now let me just quickly run npm run lint again and now you can see it ran the linter and there's no issues whatsoever so so now if we go into the pre-commit hook over here what will happen is it will run the test it will run the linter it will run the build and then if everything passes then we should be able to commit so let's first of all run npm test because what we did was we essentially did a failing test before so we need to basically fix that now so in our test this needs to be to be in the document so let's save this test should now pass which it is doing right so now what i'm going to do is going to commit everything in here so essentially what should happen is it should run test then run lint then run build and then everything should commit so essentially all of the pre-commit checks are here if they will pass then they should commit the code so hopefully this should commit now so essentially it will be git add and then git commit and then the feature is add storybook ESLint and Husky. So if I press enter and you can see it's, did, it's done its linting checks up here, then it's done the unit test and then it also built. And now if you scroll all the way down, you can see everything has been uploaded into GitHub here. So all I want to do now is do git push, press enter. And now what we have done is we have done the pre commit hook, which is a check. To run the test run the lint and run the build if everything passes then obviously we would then commit our code so what we're going to be doing next is adding conventional commits and standard version ensuring that when we have our commit messages they fall according to the conventional commit standards and we will do that next